Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another video of Dimash performing a song called Hong Yen or in English Swan Goose together with Chinese Mongolian singer and songwriter Heng Ge Ar. This is just one of the many requests from my Max Tubers, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Before we play the video, I am once again inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at max underscore two. And please do not forget to click subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Due to some negative experiences in the past where some of my videos were blocked in selected territories by YouTube due to copyright issues, I will be superimposing some effects on this original video just to be safe. Likewise, I will be pausing the video every time something comes to my mind because I do not like talking over the actual clip. And I assume that this is not your first time watching this performance. If you are here, I assume you want to listen to my honest observations and comments. So if you do not like a lot of talking and you wish to enjoy the full video without any alteration, without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box and click on the original video link. Another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my honest reaction. Okay, let's start. In fairness to the band singer, his voice almost sounds like an instrument. It doesn't sound like a human voice. I think this is more of a Mongolian technique, um, more Mongolian than Chinese. Please feel free to correct me down below if I am wrong, because it's not something that I usually hear in typical traditional Chinese songs but it sounded really impressive and it sounded really good. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Because of Dimash, I am now gaining a whole new level of appreciation for these traditional instruments. The set also looks really, really nice, very suitable for this song. I adore his voice. This is a very traditional way of singing Chinese songs. A lot of gliding from one note to another, which I myself used to do a lot, but depending on the song, of course. It's not a technique that a singer can use for all types of songs. It sounds great for um, more traditional songs or folk songs. Jiang 
原上，今生有伤。Beautiful dynamics from Tengke R, and I just love the smooth tone of his voice, which is bringing back a lot of memories for me personally. He sounds very refined. I'm not sure exactly if that's the right term, if that's the perfect term, refined. I'll just correct myself once a better term comes to me. In the meantime, let's continue. For Dimash, he is switching back and forth from using his、uh, strong, open voice to that warm and tender part of his voice. Obviously, he sounds completely. Different from Tengke R, but I think it's a nice contrast. At the same time, a great compliment. <laughs> I love that both of them are showing a lot of respect to each other with that gesture. There, I just need to say that because, as a performer myself, I do that every time. I want to show my co-performer the respect that he or she deserves. For me, it's stage etiquette. Again, to those who do not like a lot of pauses in between, like what I'm doing right now, please head to my description box and click on the original video link. Okay, let's continue. This sounds so cinematic. It's like I'm watching、uh, a traditional Chinese action film. Wouldn't it be great if both of them were attached to harnesses, and at some point in the song, both of them are lifted up to the air? But that's just my imagination going wild. What I like about this performance so far is how great they both sounded together. Even with Tengke R,、uh, his lower notes, he is not being overpowered or drowned out by Dimash's higher notes. It's a very nice blend, like a cup of strong black. Coffee mixed with very full cream milk. I hate Dimash. How can he do all these so effortlessly? If that was me, my face would have been contorted beyond recognition, hitting those insane notes. He really is on a league of his own. To this day, I haven't heard anyone, particularly male singers, with such vocal capabilities. Dimash is different.
I'm sorry to cut this segment short, but I really just love Teng Ge Ar's delivery. He sounds very relaxed, very smooth, yet strong. There is a strength in his voice that is just right to go head to head with Dimash. Let's keep things going, cause I want to know how Dimash will complement this part. We can already hear him starting to do his signature superhead voice. So let's just keep going. Dimash, Dimash, Dimash. Your voice is just heavenly. It's so perfect. Whether it's his head voice, his falsetto, the strong voice, the light voice, he can do them all and execute them with perfection. As for Teng Ke Ar, again, I really have to appreciate his very subtle change in dynamics. His voice is absolutely lovely. There is a charming quality in his voice that is so captivating. Let's move on. Dimash, your Chinese is so good now. Do you folks know how hard it is to learn the Chinese language? There are so many ways he can enunciate the words incorrectly, but he's not. He's doing an almost perfect job. Let's move on. Let's talk about the positive and the negative really quickly. Let's start with the positive. As I've said earlier, their voices blend so well together that no one is overpowering the other. They were able to control their volume and intensity extraordinarily well. The textures of their voices were also complementary. Negative is when they sustained that last note we just heard, Teng Ke Ar wasn't able to hold the note as long as he should. But do you guys know that sometimes it is actually harder to support and sustain lower notes than higher notes? Something for you to think about. And you can also try it yourself. It's definitely a great collaboration, if you ask me. They are a delight to watch because both of them were absolutely brilliant. There's nothing much to say in terms of the negatives, just that one part when they didn't end at the same time. But everything else is just perfect. I love it. It's one of those performances that I truly enjoyed watching. To my Max Tubers, what are your thoughts about this performance? Please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Remember to keep your comments respectful. It is okay to agree or to disagree with one another 
as long as we respect each other's points of view. Also, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. Till next time, bye!